Welcome back to Let's Play Watch Dogs. I'm Burning Dog Face. And I have been planning to start today's session with the uh, actual start of the next campaign mission. You know, the inevitable CCTV shot of Aiden standing somewhere just brooding to himself. I heard from Canada. What the hell did you do? But, uh... Then I actually saw where... the next campaign mission is. And I decided it required a bit more... reverence. You see, it's called, uh... Remember. And it's here at St. Joseph's Cemetery. Oh, good. St. Joseph's Cemetery. Among the tombstones of honest, hard-working men and women, there is one gravesite in the cemetery that is particularly notable. Dug into the cemetery's mountain, bearing a sculpture of his likeness, is the Grand Tomb of Finnegan Jones, Chicago's most popular Lincoln impersonator. What? Upon his death, Jones received a state funeral attended by over 1,000 adoring fans. Sorry about that. Oh, I guess I... Yeah, uh... Tom to Tom. I didn't do that one, for the record. Not every car accident in the city is my fault. Just drive, asshole! It just came out of nowhere. How could I avoid it? Turn off the profiler as I head in here. Oh, it's a gardener. It's like, what the fuck is that? Not at the moment. Oh, getting here at sundown and everything. Wow, you can actually make out names. Here lies D. Martin, rest in peace. G. Collins. Wow. I mean, yeah, some of them are, you know, there is something written there. R. Young. Wow. Almost every other game I've ever played, they just make the tombstones... Well, either they're totally illegible, except for plot-relevant ones, or, you know, they have fucking jokes written on them, like in Fable. Let's not vault over the goddamn tombstone. You know who keeps leaving the flowers? No. But that girl has a lot of friends. Had. This is about letting go. I know. We've all suffered a horrible nightmare, but 
You have to stop trying to fix it. I'm not trying to fix anything. Aiden, I know what you're doing. I know you're chasing after the people that did this. When you do that, you put us all in danger again. You are not in danger. Because I protect you. Do you hear yourself? Aiden, why can't you stop? Because... I need to know. You are my brother. And I love you. But Jackson is my world, and I will keep you away in a second before I let him get hurt. Promise me you will stop. You can't save Lena. I killed her. No, you didn't. I don't blame you. But promise me you will stop. We need this. Survivor? How did that happen? I'm guessing he didn't die. Now, relax, I got a plan. Meet me at Gorman Heights on the rooftop. I thought I would do a moment of silence. That felt about long enough. He can't stop. Because it's his fault. This one is most powerful and respected men. His empire stretches across the country and overseas. His personal wealth is estimated at 40 billion dollars. Here at home, he owns buildings, land, hotels, and numerous successful businesses. Just how did Quinn get so lucky? Let's find out. We were dirt poor. There were seven of us. My brothers, 
sister and my mom, she brought us here to America from Galway. Imagine that. We were happy, little children, excited for a new life, new food to taste, things we'd see and do. My sister died before we stepped foot on the soil. And so then there were six of us. And, you know, it's a sour taste for me to this day. This is Power Profiles. Uh, Ferris Halstead Library. The Ferris Halstead Library may not be much to look at from the outside, but it provides a valuable service to the community. The library is a popular gathering place for local youth. They use its parking lot to skateboard, play basketball, and find love. If, ever, if they were ever to go inside the library, they would also find a lot of books. I didn't think I'd hacked anybody today. Oh, all right. Never see superheroes fighting crime in the suburbs. I mean, Spider-Man has an excuse. There are no tall things for him to swing from, but... There's a gated community and everything. I've been looking for you. This is a lucky queen. I don't even know where that is. Lights out. Back up, shithead. Man. Go. Up and unlocked Chrome for some reason. There we go. That would be the not calling the police fee. Sitting here standing right in front and fucking front of you. Going that way, I think. Oh no. I just wanted to open up the door to let people into this nice community. Since the people here are clearly so welcoming. I get shot in the gut ten feet behind them, and they don't even run. Conads and strife, we. Wow. Christ, that was from before people even called them memes. I remember that one from when I was in high school. The sign is racist. <laughs> Group DedSec is claiming responsibility for recent attacks on the CTOS transit system. Train Why is this the only one we ever hear? Rerouting themselves, missing stops, and changing speeds. I'm with Transit Authority Representative Pete Gunnerson. Mr. Gunnerson. Okay, you know what? No. I swear to God, every time I uh 
Every time I drive somewhere with a camera off, it does this one that introduces DeadSec. A hacker group known as DeadSec. Police and civic authorities have both, uh... Police and civic authorities have both denounced this group as uh, reckless vandals or something like that. But it has never once happened when I was uh, on camera. Not the pizza guy. There we go, it's a good place to park. That's an elementary school. Wouldn't it be weird if that guy took a selfie and it, uh, had this pixely blurry guy in the background? Where is he? Majority can be a pain to work with. He's the devil I know. Things were different. I might be hunting him down. Or vice versa. But if he says we got a problem, I need to take it as a massive understatement. Can't let this survivor ID me. Everything's gonna spiral out of control. There's a, uh... Oh, I wanted to mention... I just got my phone here. Uh, sorry. I scanned the, uh... The... What's it called? The QR code that I found in the last session, and, uh, it's text that reads, Bad Boy 17, Bad Boy 17, really? So I guess that Giggles isn't a big fan of Clara's username. I left that in a comment on the video, but, you know, just in case you didn't see that. Okay. That's pretty easy. Jordy! What the hell? Hi. Oh, fuck. Jordy, who are they? Well, they live here. What happened? Well, security in these buildings is pretty tight, so. People like this feel nice and secure living way up here. I mean, these people just had a, a simple chain lock on their door. I guess they want to have a good look at the pizza guy before they open it all the way. All right, fine. Sure. So about this problem. Well, that's why I brought the bolt cutters. He opens the door this much. There's a chain right there. I slip him in and snip, and guess what? It's not the pizza guy. Jordy, the problem. Let's deal with it. We are dealing with it. We're in the midst of solutions here, Pierce. You don't appreciate what I do for you. You don't realize how much I take care of you, do you? Really? Yeah. Well, do me a favor. Let's get on with it. How much time do we have? Well, as much as we need. Oh, you remember the stiff from the stadium? He's not so stiff anymore. The uh, cops got him in Chicago lockup, and oh, he's about to walk into an interrogation and point a finger right at you. Sniper rival. How did that happen? Kick me when I'm down. Look at the view. See there? Call went up this morning. Somebody's paying Buku bucks to grab this clown and make him talk. And one of those guys is running the assignment. Well, it seems like me and him need to have a little chat. Yeah, but this time, don't do that empty gun thing. Poor Maurice pissed himself after your last show. Don't worry about my methods. You know how to use that thing? Just get your ass down there, I got you covered. And don't kill the boss this time. You kinda need him. You think? I just wanted to point something out that's really weird. This guy's file photo has him wearing a bag over his head. Suspected forger. Roads here with 
Hmm. Full auto machine pistol. Whoa! Where did I get this? Looks like the uh, the SMG from Halo. Chrome. Ooh, burst fire revolver. Wait, burst fire? I hate burst fire. Oh, it is really imposing. I think these are the same gun, just the other one is painted red. Interesting. Pistols, I'll stick with that. That's a good lineup. Wait, let me see the uh, eight. That's not bad. Twelve, that's pretty goddamn good, and it's semi auto. But, um,. For the time being, I'm going to call it since we, uh, you know, hit the timer there in that conversation. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Watch Dogs when we head over there and assist in an assassination. Later.